and you gotta graduate. That's the unbreakable rule for those who have died. And you die! Hi, this is the Professional Amateur Hour coming to you with another review. This week, I checked out Hells, and this 2008 anime film was directed by Yoshinobu Yahamakawa and stars the voices of Amelie and Amber Lee Connors, among others, of course. The story of this film is about this girl who dies on her way to high school and then wakes up in Hell and has to go to Hell High School. And so she has to, you know, make friends, take classes, and hopefully even get out of hell. But what will happen exactly? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. Alright, so let's discuss what works with this movie. Well, this movie does take place in hell, and I thought they had a very interesting and edgy version of hell. It is also like a biblical hell, so you know, the sinners in the Bible will show up in, in this hell. And I thought that was really interesting to see those characters. You don't really see that many biblical, you know, animes out there. Even God shows up because, you know, as Nietzsche says, God is dead, right? And I thought that was, you know, really clever. In addition, I thought the writing was really clever also. You know, they're in hell, so characters will be like, oh, what the hell is this? And they'll be like, oh, well, it's Tuesday in hell. So, of course, you know, this is what happens every Tuesday. And I thought that was really funny. I could, you know, quote so many lines like that from this movie coming out of it. It's where Helvis calls home. Who in the actual hell is he? Helvis is the first human to commit murder. So definitely, you know, clever writing and very, you know, edgy premise. In addition, I gotta say, I like the animation style. It has kind of like this sleek, but also like warp and twisted uh, kind of style to it. I thought that really added to the world. You know, all of the castles are crooked. All of the demons are kind of like sketchy. Um, I can see some people, you know, thinking it looks a little rough or a little rushed. But at the same time, like, I think it works for the situation perfectly. So the animation style is definitely something that stands out to me as something to appreciate in this one. And lastly, I gotta say, I really enjoyed all the characters. They have one character called Helvis, and he is kind of this demon Elvis character who does some songs. And I thought that was really cool to see him. The main character herself is also like really positive for her situation. And that's, you know, adds the moral of the story. So, you know, it's this well-written characters that you can thoroughly enjoy when you see them on screen. And that brings me to what doesn't work with this film. Well, I gotta say with the story, by the end it just goes like, you know, bonkers crazy off the wall, nuts, like, I couldn't really figure out why any of this was happening. I think it's probably like at the halfway mark that it really becomes bonkers. You know, the first half it's about, you know, going to high school in hell and stuff, but then that second half just goes crazy and, you know, I, it's not very consistent that way, it does kind of make it feel like it is something that was not really well thought out ultimately in the end. Uh, it's definitely a strong start, but by the end I'm just like, just turns into a regular anime where, you know, the world's ending, of course. And lastly, this might sound like a nitpick, but in this movie they have reincarnation and also souls going to hell. And those kind of seem like they're diametrically opposed to each other, like you can't really have both, right? Either your soul leaves your body and that never comes back to this world or your soul leaves your body and comes back to the, this world and so it seems like it's really like loose and fast with the rules and it did bother me you know it's this one of those nitpick things where like halfway through i'm just like why is this happening just like with the with the crazy bonkers storyline but like why would that be such an oversight you know so definitely some things are not as enjoyable but um you know, it's it's really about the, the style, I would say, of this one. More than, you know, the story. So who would I recommend this movie for? Well, I think if you're into anime and you're looking for one that's edgier than normal, you can definitely turn this one on and check it out. In addition, I have been using the English title. There is a Japanese title. I'm not going to try to pronounce it, but uh, you should still be able to find it. As for a rating, I'm going to give it the score of 5. And having said that, I think that's all I wanted to say, so like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time!